Hello YouTube, it's Ian here with Hobbies and Man. Once again, today we're going to be doing another uh, first impressions review for the newest Shonen Jump title, which just came out uh, earlier this morning on the Shonen Jump app. It's called Fabricant 100, and it's honestly probably the best out of this latest batch of Shonen titles. So, um, it's written by Daisuke and Oshima. Uh, the first chapter came out today, and, it's ha and it has 55 pages, and... Um, it's probably the best one out of the bunch. It's also probably the most standard or traditional style uh, story for uh, Shonen Jump that came out out of this last batch. Um, or at least it's the one that's most interesting to me because it is most similar to other things. Uh, it is essentially a demon hunting kind of series, you know, like Bleach, like uh, Demon Slayer, like, you know, any of these other ones. But um, it's a little bit different, and I think it's interesting how it's different. Uh, we follow a young boy. His name is uh, Ashibi Ayo, I think is his name. He has a older woman that comes that travels with him that is a bit too finicky over him. He, she, she tries to protect him too much. But uh, it's kind of sinister because by the end of the first chapter, we learn that she's actually one of these fabricants. Um, who was created by this crazy Victor Frankenstein type scientist. And she's number 100. She is the last of these fabricants or the, the last one made. And she's also probably the one that killed uh, the, uh, the great scientist that created them. It also turns out that these fabricants after their um, creator had died were stuck with his uh, dream basically as their prime directive. They are supposed to become the most ideal human that they can. And so um, these fabricants start basically harvesting body parts across the the world and trying to find the best ones that they can. Um, and so one day they go after Ayo's family who happens to be uh, vaguely magical, I, I guess. They, they have this ability to extend their lifetime for a long time. After they reach 18, they start aging slowly. And that means that most of them were like 110 and still looked about 50 years old, which of course is a very attractive trait. And so the fabricants came to his family and they murdered everyone in his family. He, in like a, that last ditch effort was like, I'm the last of my family, but I'm not at my ripe age yet. So one of you join me for four years, help me rid the world of all of the other ones, and I will exchange my body for your help. And so one of them decides to help him, and it happens to be the woman that comes with him. So she's fabricant number 100, and she's only with him because she wants to take over his body at some point. And it's a really interesting premise. It's pretty dark. Um, and also, of course, um, the, the, the chapter actually has something interesting happening, which is the first kind of mystery or the first kind of uh, situation that we see of, of them encountering this, uh, which is that there was this train, there was this guy and this woman that were sitting together and this woman had very good eyesight and she was taken by one of these fabricants and, um, her eyes were taken out of her head and put into the fabricant's body, right? Um, what happens then is that uh, Ayo and the woman show up on this train. They manage to meet the man that was with this woman and they explain the situation to him and then the fabricant, er, the fabricant shows up because Ayo cuts his, um, his arm and so uh, they can smell his blood. They know that his blood is meaningful, it's better. Uh, or whatever, and so it shows up. It turns out it's fabricant number 17, and, well, they battle it, they win, they give the eyes back to the man, and uh, they move on with their life. And it's actually it's actually pretty enjoyable, and I really liked it. Um, the one thing I kind of want to complain about is the art style. It's not really my favorite. I don't like it. It feels a little bit too cutesy for the series. I would have much preferred something a little bit more um, not necessarily realistic, but a little bit more leaning on the cool side than the cutesy side when it comes to art style. Um, I, I don't really want the whole magazine to look my, like my Hero Academia Black Clover, but 
I like that kind of art style a lot more than the more cutesy kind of like, um, you know, kiddish kind of versions that, that this series and some other ones have. So it's not that big of a deal. It's a pretty minor complaint all told. And I definitely want to keep reading this because it honestly seems to be the best one out of this batch of, of Shonen Jump titles. So um, yeah, there really isn't too much else to say. I mean, I enjoyed it. I think uh, you know, Daisuke Inoshima did a good job with it. And um, I'm very excited to see the artwork evolve and to see the story unfold quite a bit. Um, it also doesn't seem to be a you know insurmountable task. They only have to chase down about 80 of these. And if they did one per chapter, they would only need 100 chapters. But of course, it's not going to go like that. It's going to be, you know, pretty long. It'll probably take about 200 chapters at least to get through this uh, situation. And then things are going to unfold and, you know, it's going to be something crazy. So I'm pretty excited. But yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do a like, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.